Hello, and welcome to day three of 1418. So, we are kicking this right off with two birthdays, Patricia McCarthy and Beatrice Archer. They both are not aging up at all. We're just giving them some gray hair. So, we're going to roll first for Patricia McCarthy. They need a one to nine to live. Nope, she does not live. Okay, let's see how many years until she dies. Six years. Okay, and now let's go ahead and roll for Beatrice. Oh, she lives. Okay, great. That's awesome. So I'm just going to go over. I have already got Patricia all done with her gray hair and some wrinkles. Let's take her picture and then we will go over and get Beatrice's picture. Okay, here is Beatrice Archer, a little bit older than she was with some gray hair. Then the next thing we have is William Goodwin right here, who is just in the military, never getting married, and he has to avoid three numbers. So let me scoot this over and we will roll for William. And he dies. He had to not roll a 3, 7, or 19. And that's what he rolled. So let's see when he's going to die. Eight years from now, William Goodwin will die. And William Goodwin is over here in war. He's actually the only one who has clothes on, but he does not not have to be aged up or picture taken or anything. So we do not have to go over there. So that brings us to Larkin Miller, who is becoming a teenager. And all we're going to roll for first is to make sure he does not die. There is one number. Oh, thankfully, he did not roll it. He needed to avoid an 18, which he did. So we're not having any babies today. We don't have any extra rolls. There's nothing else happening, which I didn't point out at the beginning. So we're headed over to, I think Ireland is where Larkin lives, to age him up. Yes, Larkin is the son of Larkin Miller, and I'm glad that he lives. That's great. All right, we are just going to age him up, see what his things are, what his stuff he gets is, and then we'll be able to determine what happens next. This stinking refrigerator just out in the yard. So he is a music lover and an art lover. Isn't that just the cutest? I don't know why I'm picking an actual thing for him. We're not going to keep that. So as long as he doesn't get something very odd right here at the end, um, he looks like he's just going to be whenever. Like, he'll be able to do whatever he rolls and not anything special. But let's see. Okay, he's got music and art and a foodie. Wow. Okay, let's see his aspiration. Pick a number 1 to 15. That would be 12. Pick a number 1 to 8. It's 4. Okay, one, two, three, four. Joke star. So it means nothing for him. He gets to live his life as he normally would here in Ireland. So I'm going to get him loaded up to take his picture, and then we will roll for his marriage and all of that stuff. Okay, we'll roll over here to see when he's going to get married. Oh, nine years. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, here is Larkin Miller. I love his freckles. Okay, and then our last birthday is Zelda Smith becoming a toddler. And so there are a lot of numbers that could potentially kill her. But she lives anyway. Nice. I feel like it's been a minute since nobody's died. Like we lost two of our babies here and then we just lost Yetta. So I'm really glad Zelda lives. So this is Daniel and Pistis Smith, and this is their youngest baby, Zelda. She is becoming a toddler. Aw, I'm going to leave her hair like that. It's really cute. And her, oh, she is fussy. Okay, here is Zelda Smith. She's super pretty, though. Okay, and then the last thing we have to do is Beatrice Archer is getting married to Antonio Lugano. That is somebody that you guys created and I added in to our family. So we're going to go over there and do the wedding at our house and then we'll be able to play our day. Okay, here is Antonio Lugano who is getting married to Beatrice today. Okay, the proposal seems to have gone well. All right, the wedding went well as well. And now they get to visit the barn. I said visit. Visit the barn and then leave our house and go to their own. Okay, we got them all moved in their house and we're back at our house. And our toddlers are still out here by the street since we had to trade for them to have room in our house. But anyway, we're going to bring them all back. They seem to be, oh, Sebastian is, no, that's, 
that is Xavier, and he is very hungry. Let's get him, oh, let's get him some food out and let him come get something to eat and see if that will help. Xavier is doing great, so we'll just have her maybe come in here and play a little bit. Sebastian wants some attention, so let's have him come chat. Oh my gosh, he wants to roughhouse, kick, and bite her. Why don't you be sweet? Okay, let's do that. Show her a toy and snuggle. Yeah, let's do those things. Those are cute, Sebastian. I need you to stop being so dang aggressive. Anyway, she's real mad because she thinks this house is dirty. Although I'm not seeing a lot of dirt around here. Anyway, let's see about Alice. She is done eating. Alice, you need to use the bathroom and you can go. That's Ida's bed. You can go on and go to sleep. Our baby girl, Elizabeth, who is not going to be with us for very long, she can come play dolls for a minute while we see what needs to happen out here. Oh, it's harvest day. Okay, she can nurture. Oh, actually, she needs to collect the cricket flower and then do three things of nurture so the crickets won't die. That's what I was told before. Mom needs to come grab her some food. Actually, why doesn't she? She can finish that. Xavier got him some food, so he's doing better. Nice. Elizabeth can come out here and harvest everything. Oh, she's just out here loving on these little insects. I mean, that could not be me, but go ahead. Um, I was going to say I only see four of our little sheep, but actually I see them all now. Okay, so Elizabeth is going to harvest. Oh, Xavier got level three. Xavier, why don't you come out here and chat with some of our little animals? She seems to like them out here. There's Mocha. Let me see if I can remember all their names. Uh, so this over here, I think, is Butternut. Yay, I'm right. Okay, Butternut's very hungry, though. And then this is Marshmallow. Yay! I can't believe I got that right. I think this one is Squash. Yes, and I do not remember this one. Um... Oh, Goaty McGoatface. Man, how did I forget that? Then there's Mocha, which I know. And then that last one, Daisy. Yes. Wow. I should get some kind of prize or something. Anyway, okay, wait. Mom's in here playing with the baby, looking adorable. All right, well, that's adorable, but she's got to get out here and clean everybody. All right, let's see. How's it going? Look at her chatting with Squash. That was adorable. She must have had a great time chatting with the two she tried. Let's try Mocha now and see what happens. Okay, I might be pushing it. I'm going to see if she can hug Mocha. Oh my gosh. She's the, Mocha said yes and let her hug her. Aww. All right, Elizabeth. How do we find out who I haven't cleaned? I guess I just look and see if it says clean on them or not. Okay, they're all clean. Also, apparently the holiday has disappeared for... Well, it's still there for the baby girl, even though it says she ignores this tradition. Let's see. And, and she still has it. So maybe she can do some stuff out here to some plants. All right. We're going to let her do some laundry. All right. She still hadn't quite gotten what she wants. Oh, her harvest day is now complete. And I've still got her doing a couple more talking to the plant. One more plant. Then she's going to come inside and cook. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth is playing again with Sebastian. That is all she does is play with him. So cute. I just got that Xavier and Xavier are jokesters. How cute. So I guess this is the way that our days are going to go. We're going to have everybody get up, do a round of chores, and let the little kids play. And then everybody sleeps for the afternoon. And then we get up in the evening and do another round of chores. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody's going to get in the bed. I guess I'll let them sleep a couple of hours. And then, oh my goodness. My mod that used to turn all those um, sounds off, I had to remove it because I feel like it was messing some stuff up. So I removed the mod and now we have to listen to that noise all the time, which I don't love. But I did get another one that's supposed to cancel out the noise. So hopefully that will work for the next next time I upload. Oh, the grass has grown back. So hopefully they have been eating the prairie grass, by the way. They're eating the prairie grass and they're eating out of here. So we're just going to continue with that for right now. Anyway, let's let them sleep. Everybody gets to sleep for a few hours and then we get up and... Uh, 
continue with another round of chores for the evening. Okay, it is the second round of getting up and doing everything. They're finishing up their second round of chores. I don't know what to do. Oh, her fun came up. Okay, I was like, Alice's fun has been all the way down at the bottom, and I don't know what to do about it, but... All right, so we're just finishing up the last bit. I'm going to send her in here to take a bath when she's done. Make sure all of our toddler potties are cleaned up. Our toddlers are all already in bed. Oh, as soon as I said that, Xavier's getting up. He's really got to go to the bathroom. Babe, let's do the potty first, and then we'll go get some food. I'll get you something out of the refrigerator. All right, he's going to be great as soon as he gets some food, and everybody else is getting ready to go to bed. We are going to be done with our day today. This is Alice's bed, yes. Okay, so that is it. We are finished with 1418. And so we will be kicking off the next year or the next episode with a new year. And we will be um, digging up our plants and planting new plants and just getting the farm ready for the next season. Right now it is summer. This is the first day of summer. So since it's technically already after midnight. So we're going to be planting some summer plants having our little summer garden out here to get ready for fall. I did find a mod that was supposed to make it where your plants, like the spring plants, didn't weren't harvestable like on the very first day of spring, but it would take a couple of days into spring, like a more realistic thing. But I'm not sure if that's been updated because it is not letting my game play with that mod in here. But I just thought it would be cool the way it seemed to do weather and weather related things. But anyway, I think that's got to be updated again before we can get that. So if there are any mods that you guys know work and you think they would help with the gameplay or any kind of realistic gardening situations or food situations or anything like that, I would love to hear about them. Also, we are fully in to January now. I want to know if you guys have any plans for January, anything that you're looking forward to for the rest of the month, or something that you've already done in the month that you had fun with. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!